And I'll be cooking in the kitchen. And I'll be cooking in the kitchen. Today we are going to be making some jollof rice for the first time and by myself. Basola, my flatmate, obviously makes it, but I've never really watched her. I've watched Addy make it because one Sunday she showed us as the girls how to make it, but we wanted to talk and all of that, so I didn't watch attentively, but I wrote down in the um, like methodology. So hopefully I'll be able to follow that. I'm asking the girls as well, like, what goes first? Um, so I'll take you through the process and Zimbabwean yao making jollof. I tried to open the tomatoes, chopped tomatoes with this thing, and it just didn't really work. Um, I think I've managed to do it without cutting myself. So we don't have a blender, so I'm gonna use this blend active thing where you put the lid on and then you take some of the charger. And then my mom uses this bad boy and blends it like that. So hopefully it's gonna work. We've also got some planting. I'm really going to Nadia and back. So yes. Oh, okay. My kitchen's really nice, but we've got the chopped tomato in there. I think we've got an onion. What else does it say? Um, two bell peppers, scotch bonnets, flour puree, and a whole onion. So, I think we're supposed to chop this up. That's what I'm about to do anyway. I don't know, y'all. This knife is a very sharp. Damn. Is this better? Oh, it's a good thing it's being blended. Because and um, we've got the chopped onions and then my gosh that eyes I don't really normally crack this time maybe it's because they're bigger chunk anyway so I'm just gonna put that in there I'm not sure if it's all gonna fit to the list that's the only reason I be cooking new and I be my face oh no there's a lift for it but I don't know where it is my sister's bugging me off <laughs> I think it's in here. Oh shit. It's already in here. Oh, here it is. Found it. I was gonna put that word in my mom was going to kill you. Okay, so. Okay. I wish I could. This is long from. Is that. Oh. Ah! I had the wrong way and everything. So, yeah. This is gonna go on. No. Passing it onto. This and like I think you twist it. This could you need assistance. So messy from. Oh damn. Okay. If that splash is all over mama's house, man. If it splashes all over mama's house, what? If that goes, if that messes goes all over mama's white house, man. I have to put the tomato puree and onion so I can blend down and then I'll put the rest in. So. Cooking, cooking in the kitchen. Cooking, cooking, cooking in the kitchen. Cooking, cooking, cooking in the kitchen. Every single day I'm in the kitchen. Okay, so now we're just chopping some bell pepper. I don't remember how we're supposed to do this, so I'm just gonna chop it. <laughs> um, so two bell peppers. Adi says I should have three, but I only had two, and they were quite big. So oh, we have some friends, no, it's probably like right. No. Um, so we're just gonna add them to this. Um, just now. And I be cooking in the kitchen, and I be cooking, and I be cooking in the kitchen, and I be cooking in the kitchen. And that is too small, so what I'm gonna do is um, pour some of it out. Some of these peppers are gonna fry, so I'm gonna have to do uh -huh. What do I do with that blue stuff? And then put the remaining peppers into this, blend it, and hope for the best. That's what's going on here. We don't have scotch bonnet. Um, these girls uh, said two scotch bonnet, but we don't want it too spicy, you know? Because when, when I eat jollof rice made by Nigerians, my mouth's always on fire. So I'm just going to use a little one like this one, um, cut it up, add it to that, and then, yes! <laughs> I'm a Zama level junkie, straight out of Muff Town, banging out in Compton, you know, Bob Bompton, I'm good again. I've been around the world and every hood's the same, we all cook it. And I'll be cooking in the kitchen. And I'll be cooking in the kitchen. Me and Mommy are in the kitchen cooking together. So put this, I've got one to cook that. This is the spice. And then, to make it nice and raw. Long grain, I shall already know. And 
and uh, yours for puree, which is also on the recipe I'm of giving. Yeah, quarter of a tube, so maybe about that much, that much of it into there, then blend it in. I think then we are done. So yeah, we're gonna put. I see. I won't put too much because I don't want it to be too small. So it looks disgusting. But yeah, stuff is going on in time. Just there for a little bit. So I'm gonna put half of this just to um, turn that on. Put that on gas with some oil. Um, and then I'll blend the all half, the other half, so that the that, so that we get the flavors in that. And everything. We just have some chicken stock as well. I'll put it in the pot. It's looking quite red. I'm not sure if that's supposed to work. But we shall see. Find out. Just put a bit of oil as well. Um, smelling okay. Smelling. I can't really see. Smelling great. Need to get some. I don't have chicken stock, so we are going to use Maggie cubes instead. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just added two Maggie cubes. Um, really, we'll just see how this turns out. So first try. Um, some people leave it to boil, but some people put the rice straight away. So we shall see. Okay, you can see it's boiling in there. The recipe was for four cups of rice, so basically, if I don't want to put too much or too little. So I'm just going to wash the rice and then add it to that, and then I'm going to fry some plantain. We just finished washing the rice, and I'm now just going to basically add it to this, but I can't do it while I'm recording because. I'll probably drop my phone in here and it won't be lit. And then that's the end of it. It's just conscious life. So I'm going to add that into this slowly. Drain that water actually. And then yeah. Okay, so I'm now mixing it all in. Um, oh, I don't want it to be too moist. So hopefully it'll be all right. We'll see. So we're going to, I'm just going to show you like, I just, basically, I cut the end off and then like slice on the ridges. This is how Auntie Dara does it. Alua Dara. So, and she's, she doesn't know what she's doing, so that's what I do. And then, hopefully this isn't done. And then like, just remove it that way. And then you like, cut them slanted. And not too thin, but not too thick. Otherwise, if they're too thin, they'll burn. If they're too thick, they won't cook properly. But you need to keep that almost thin. But keep your eye on what you're cooking, because this got to burn. The last the plantain oil with the rice is looking somewhat okay. <laughs> Find out how it tastes later. Oh, we're gonna, it smells good though, we're gonna fry the plantain oil. In this shallow one, but it comes to get a bit of fat. Benefits of cooking on gains, you already know. So the plantain is looking good. I don't know what oil I use actually. Oh, so far, well, I think I normally use vegetable oil, but today we switched it up because of what I found in here. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, that is Benin! Yeah, yeah.